Hello everyone my name is Pooja and in this presentation I am going to explain you a brief overview about SDLC that is software development life cycle follow with me let's start with it let us first discuss what is software development life cycle so software development life cycle represents the process of developing a software it consists of requirement analysis design development testing deployment and maintenance next why we need sdlc sdlc helps for making systematic development of a software product and it also it helps us for project tracking and control it decreases the project risk and overheads it increases visibility of project execution steps to stakeholders it makes strong client relationship then how to implement sdlc now we can implement sdlc by following six phases so let us discuss each phase one by one number 1 planning and requirement analysis this phase is crucial to start sdlc process business analysis product owner project managers will have a meeting with client and gather all information one requirement analysis is done the software requirement prescription document is created and get them accept reference the stakeholders planning for quality assurance requirements and identification of risk associate with the project also done in this phase number 2 design in this phase system and software design document of prepare as per the sris document there are two types of the design documents developed in this phase high level design document like that is hld and second one is low level design document that is lld so let us discuss one by one what is hld in this hld complete architecture diagrams along with technology details will be available it describes the data flow flow charts etc now lld it defines the actual logic for each every component of system database tables types and size etc class diagrams with all the methods and relation between classes will cover under this number 3 development in this development phase the actual coding development start as per the design documents and one round of unit testing will be done by the developer number 4 testing once the developer complete the coding it will be deployed in the testing environment testers before srs document to make sure that the software is as per the customer standard during this phase qa and testing team may find some bugs or error which they assign to developer fix the defects the development team fixes the bug and send back to the qa or testing team for retest this process continue until the software is bug free or stable during this stage tester will do unit testing integration testing system testing and functionality testing as per the business requirement once they complete above all tests then descent for uat uat means user acceptance testing also known as the data or end user testing it is defined as testing the software by the user or client to determine whether it can be accepted or not number 5 deployment once uat done and software find no bugs or error then it's deployed in production environment number 6 operational and maintenance operational and maintenance of this product that is if any issues comes up needs to be fixed or any enhancement is required is to be done by the developer now let's conclude number 1 senior management understands the client project scope and collect all the requirement number 2 architect create design documents based on the srs document from the client number 3 developers will do developers will do coding as per the design documents number 
once coding completes testing team will do testing and sends for uat number 5 on receipt of uat software will deploy on production environment and then it will be go alive number 6 once after successful deployment operation team starts the maintenance activities hope this information may useful for you thanks for watching